Okay, thank you for joining me this morning. We're actually in Devon, in Buckfest. This is called the Holy Trinity Church. It's more like a cathedral. Um, I do know it was built around the 13th century, I believe. And it had a major fire in 1992 that actually took the cathedral out. So there's little left of it, apart from the tower, as we're just coming up on now. Just give you a quick overview of that. Okay, and directly in front of me you'll see there is a tomb. I'll give you a bit more information once I've set everything up, but all I do know that once a year on Halloween there's devil worshippers that actually visit this tomb. And it's said that the devil tried to stop this church from being built. It's built on a hill near Bodmin. Um, but yes, apparently there's a lot of devil worshipping that goes on around here. The church graveyard was the burial place of sinister squire Richard Capel, whose monstrous behaviour inspired Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's creator of Sherlock Holmes to write The Hand of the Baskervilles. Capel was allegedly to have got away with the murder of his wife in the 1600s after making a pact with the devil for his soul. The people of Buckfest feared him and his pack of vicious hunting dogs when he was alive. His death on July the 5th, 1677 did not halt their fear and the legend was born. The night of the interment, a phantom pack of hounds came buying across the moor to howl at the tomb. But it certainly has an eerie atmosphere to it. And as you can see, it's a huge daunting place. And there's some noises there. And when you're here in the middle of the night on your own, can you hear that? Can you hear it? That's odd. But you can see up the path, it's a long walk down through the centre of the cemetery. But as I said, yes, yeah, a very daunting place. I know last time I was here, I was picking up quite a lot of voices and the cat balls were going off well. But let's get into the actual abbey itself and we'll do a little bit of calling out. I'm not gonna to spend too long here. I'm actually travelling back home after a week in Devon and Cornwall on business. So I really want to do this place. Uh, oh, you can see up there. I didn't notice that last time actually. Can you see the the pools for the bells? That's obviously still all intact. You can't access that area of the structure, unfortunately. But let's get into the abbey and we'll make a start. Okay, as you can see, that's the door to the tower itself. It's certainly a daunting place. Let's find somewhere to set up and then we can get this investigation going. I did bring the, oh, the field camera, so I'll put that out into the cemetery in a minute. And hopefully that can take any pictures or videos that, yeah, well, if anything comes forward in the graveyard. So bear with me while I set myself up. All I ever wanted was you, but you left me alone inside these empty broken walls. And I can't see it clearly, but it's obvious I know that you left
the energy is rising okay right okay so what I've done is I've bear with me don't stay here that just said um, what I've done is I put my field camera out here on top of crime on the top of this grave as you can see um, that's my new piece of equipment that's an addition to everything and what I've done stop it that says it's getting quite nasty I've just started um, yeah and that's facing up through the center of the graveyard plus this tomb that obviously has a lot of devil worshipping and etc going on so I'm hoping that something gets caught and maybe we can record it so we'll let that trundle away certainly a lot of noises here this evening which is a bit odd positive okay let's get ourselves in so I've set up camping here because obviously it's got a roof on it's relatively dry and gateway what well, this is a gateway that actually is quite relevant because apparently here there's a portal to the underworld as I was crime again as I was saying on the intro uh, right away um, yeah that, sorry it's throwing me a bit as I say on the intro apparently the devil go forward the devil wanted to stop the building of this place so they say they tried to stop the villagers from building it um, oh god overdose we're getting all sorts here let's give you a quick tour around the place just to give you an overview hopefully you can see that I think this lights what's that recalibrating sorry about that let's just carry on through that obviously up there must have been the altar plate kill that just says yes I remember this place it's starting to bring back fond memories <laughs> well I wouldn't say fond memories but moving what's moving I keep hearing noises is there something here with me at the moment is there something here hiding female so I have a female spirit here do I let's plonk this camera down here and hopefully, let's just straighten it up a bit hopefully that's let me take a look in the picture yeah hopefully that's okay you like to come here do you could you tell me your name the person the person that likes to come here do you come here as a good spirit or do you come here as a nasty entity Jennifer who's here now, what's going on here it's certainly a... hear me that just said no I can't hear your spirit I can hear strange noises about the Abbey but I haven't heard a single voice unless you can come and speak into my microphone that I've got on me that would certainly help haunted yes I believe this place is haunted it's reportedly haunted apparently there's a lot of activity that goes on here macabre that just said I hope my field camera's picking things up as you can see this graveyard is huge certainly for a small village at the time in your car what's in my car Are you telling me you've moved to my car you can't follow me home spirit investigate I am investigating now I need to know who's here please I've got a strange feeling in my head at the moment and who's causing that please knife yeah I'd rather not be knife spirit if you wouldn't mind <laughs> he 
Elizabeth. Amanda. Are you just giving me crap names again? Come on. Seeker. Who's the seeker, please? In one hour and Christine. Spirit, I'm not going to be here in an hour, I can assure you of that. I need to get back on the road. I've got 300 miles to cover yet. Not so. Well, I'm positive it's 300 miles, Spirit. Can you come into this place? You must stay. Well, I need you to stay. You're certainly not following me. Mother. I think what we'll do, I'm going to take... Absolutely, I'm going to take the spirit box and the cameras out to the crypt outside. You're following me, are you? And we'll do a little bit of calling. You dislike me, do you? I dislike you too. So what are you going to do about it? You have no power over me, spirit. I don't care how evil you are. Not likely. You have no hold over me. I'm a child of God. And God only. Death. Yeah, I don't think so, spirit. You can sod off. All right, let's do a bit of calling out on the tomb and see if we can pick anything demonic up. That's <laughs> a bit silly, won't it? Come back, come back by yourself. Well, I'm certainly not here with anybody else, Spirit. I can assure you of that. Ethan. Okay, let's come out here. Obviously, the field cam is going to pick me up. But let's, let's put the camera on the tomb as well. Don't really want to. I mean no disrespect by doing this, Spirit. I'm sorry. Let's just straighten the camera up. Shed a bit of light over there. Mantis. Oh, look at that. Can you see that? That's gone. You're lost. No, I'm not lost, Spirit. Let's put the EMF there if it'll stand up. Okay, to any demonic entity that may reside here, please come forward. And tell me a little about yourself. There's too many to count. So who's the dominant spirit here, please? Who's the dominant spirit? There must be one. Please. A guide. Where's the guide? Please. Hellish. Yes, indeed. This is hellish. That's why cults come here on Halloween every year. They're certainly a bunch of muppets as far as I'm concerned. They have no idea what they're doing. They take other forms, do they? What forms do they take? Four? Come on. Come on, do your best. Come and hurt me. Noise down there then. Coroner. Oh, that's lovely. Who's here with me? There's movement down here. Are you in there? Dimension. Can you see that MF going? Look at that. There's nothing up there. I've got the phone here with me. I'm about 20 feet away. Spirit, is that you? 
I can't be here. Well, I'm here, spirit. You certainly don't bother me. Get lost anyway. What are you going to do? You have no hold over me. Go here. I have God's protection. What are you going to do to me? What are you going to do? Medium? I'm not a medium. I'm loved. I know I am. That's why I think I've got protection on my side. Look at that old grave, look. It's attached to an item. What item is it attached to, please? I don't have any little journeyman here tonight, so it's not attached to my doll. Non-human. Well, I expect it to be non-human. As I said before, the devil tried to stop this from being constructed. Apparently the, apparently the devil owns this hill that it's built on. Is that correct? As I said, this is 13th century. It's very old. I think it's over 800 years old. It certainly has a weird atmosphere to it. I would say peaceful, but no, there's something there. There's something under that peacefulness. And I think... I think minor. Well, there would be many miners here, Spirit. We're in Devon. Look at that EMF meter. How is a... a grave creating that much EMF energy? Spirit, what is that there? There's something there, isn't there? Don't give me rubbish words. I need you to show yourself, please. I need you to be visible to me. Let's grab my camera. Your home. Well, clearly it's your home. Can I ask, is there any nice entities here, or do we just have bad spirits? You see that EMF? Spirit, respond by moving them lights. Necromancer. Oh, that's lovely. You're really giving us some good words tonight, aren't you? Can you show yourself in this tomb? Please. Come into this tomb and show yourself. Show me that you're here, please. Okay, we're going to have a little walk around through this front of the structure again. And then I think we'll um, have to think about... You want to speak, do you? You're more than welcome to. I've got microphones here. I've got two cameras going. Three cameras going. You can speak through any of them cameras. So come and do your best. I don't know why this keeps moving my gimbal. Okay. Yeah, I'm not interested in crap words, Spirit. I told you that already. Okay, let's get our sabs through, and I think what we'll do, we'll, we'll shut it down there. As I said, I've got a good 300 miles to get home. That just said sin. I haven't sinned, Spirit. Well, I don't believe I have. I guess we all sin at some time. Hellhound. Oh, let's not get some hellhounds here. The hellhounds have been reported here, in actual fact. Apparently there's a pack of them. And I certainly don't want to see hellhounds if I'm here on my own. Usually I'll have John and I'll leave him. <laughs> good spirit. Oh, that's good. I certainly have a good spirit. I believe that I have one that looks after me. But I think you already know that, don't you? I think that's why you've got no hold over me. You can't affect me. Okay, let's get our sabs finished and tied up and I'll do a closing scene.
Sorry it's not so long, but as I said, I've got a long way to travel. You've been forgotten, have you? You haven't been forgotten, I'm here. Bring it, bring what? Okay, I'm just going to pop the camera down, just so I can do a closing scene. So bear with me. Record it, I am recording it, spirit. Okay, so thank you for joining me for this one. I've really enjoyed this, actually. Um, certainly a freaky, spooky place. I know it wasn't too long of a video, but as I said, I've, I've got to travel back. But I really wanted to visit this place. It does have a, a good atmosphere to it, a good feel. And this tomb, um, I don't know, there's something not right about this tomb, but as I said, devil worshippers and witches and that come here, and that's still talking away, but we'll ignore that. But... I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave me a comment and leave me a like as you usually would. Until the next one, you take care of yourselves. God bless.